Elio Castroneves has been an IndyCar fixture for two decades, winning 29 races, including three Indy 500s. Elio Castroneves leads the final 51 laps and wins the 85th Indianapolis 500 mile race. At 40 years old, he's showing no signs of slowing down. Elio is totally unchallenged. He has the checkered flag for the third time here at Belle Isle. Head for the fence. Elio Castroneves celebrates his win. Now with a young family of his own, fiance Adriana and daughter Micaela, Elio is in a good place. It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Let us <laughs> This phase of my life, it's actually, it's better. super exciting. It, yes, it's better, no question. But with family comes complications. When pushing at the very edge is your everyday business. When I call Adriana, I just say, listen, everything's fine. I just had an accident. She's like, oh my God, is everything okay? I said, well, that's why I'm calling you, because everything's fine. Now in his 16th season with Team Penske, Elio returns to Indianapolis with a chance to join Racing's Royalty. I would love to share this with my family, which is the fourth one, which would be, wow. Uh, incredible and uh, to be part of history. This is what she eats every morning. No! Uh uh. Yes. It's late April in South Florida, and Helio Castroneves is enjoying breakfast with his fiancee Adriana, her six year old daughter, Michaela, and their two dogs. And these two, I like that all the time. They don't stop. She doesn't leave him alone. So one is mine, this one is mine, this is Tugi, and the other one is Lollipop. I didn't give the name. It's mine. It's <laughs> Michaela's dog. I didn't give, who gave that name Lollipop? I was, it was Adrian, it was your mom, correct? Who was it? It was you, very smart girl, giving the name of the dog Lollipop. Soon, Elio will leave for a month of racing in Indianapolis. But before that, he has much more important duties, like getting Michaela ready for school. What, what do you want to use? Um, do you want a ponytail? Um, ponytail. Ponytail, okay. Ooh, sorry. All right, I'm going to do a ponytail for you. I'm going to show that daddy can do a ponytail. I can do a ponytail. I'm trying to go as smooth as possible, just like in a racetrack. Mm. <laughs> Look at that, Micaela. And a ponytail. And a ponytail. Oh, so now you're throwing a challenge on me here, correct? All right, I can do a ponytail. Oh, yeah. Easy. Oh, yeah. Look at this, huh? Come on, Castro Nevis. That's the, okay, it's not perfect ponytail. Uh -huh. But, it doesn't matter how you get there, it matter how the result get. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Oh, of course I knew that. <coughs> okay, now the, here we go. Voila! Huh? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. what about for He's made a career out of driving a race car. However, today his job is to get his daughter to school safe and on time. So, Michaela, what are you going to do in school today? I'm you. Oh, you're not going to tell me? Okay. All right. Oh, I understand. Probably a very busy day today, huh? You say you're going to do Spanish today, don't you? No? What is it, tennis? No? Art? Oh my god, so... Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Ballet. 
Mm -mm. Oh, my. So, no idea. It must be something really special, I guess. Since becoming a father, Elio is more than an IndyCar driver. He's now part hairstylist, chauffeur, and singer. Mikael likes to sing, too. What's your favorite song, Mikael? Should we listen to the radio? Let it go, of course. Of course, Frozen, big movie. I mean, I think every dad in America, or in the world probably knows the, the Let It Go song. Let it go, let it go. With the singing lesson over, they get to school right on time. We are here, Michaela. We are here. Oh, I love you. I love you. Okay. Good morning. Say good morning. Thank you. I love you. Got everything? All right. <laughs> Thank you. And off she goes. Elio has made the transition from a single race car driver to a family man and is living the life he always thought he would. This is exactly the way I thought when I was young, when I was a kid in Brazil. And I remember, I really remember dreaming about driving, you know, that red and white car. So that's why I tell kids, you guys, you gotta dream big. You really gotta dream big because when you work hard, when you love what you do, and uh, when you do it the right way, it will pay off. Your dream will come true. And that for me, um, that's why today I'm, I can't stop smiling because I have the best job, I have a great life, I got a great family, and sky's the limit. IndyCar Chronicles with Elio Castro-Nevis is presented by Tag Heuer. Elio Castro Nevis and his fiance Adriana Haneo call Florida home. But it was a chance encounter in a Colombian airport that brought them together. We met in Cartagena, the baggage claim. I literally kept <laughs> dragging the baggage. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. Classic. And, I'll, and I'm you carrying the baggage and I'm have to, uh, no, caring? Forget about caring. Dragging. Dragging. Ah, very funny. Elio grew up in racing, but it's a lifestyle that was tough for Adriana to understand. I always joke with people. I think that's the most I hate about him and I love about him, how much he can love something. Because honestly, I think he loves racing over anything, even me. I have to say it. It's, it's, I love yeah. you a lot. It's a different, it's a different type of it's love. It's a different you know? love. You can't okay. compare my work yeah, to yeah, the. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yes, you. But are. he's, he's like so. It's like, and I haven't found that activity in my life, other than being a mom, obviously. But like in my life, that I can be doing over and over and over again. And it took me a good two years to get yeah. used to it. No. Such then, a such I used a to bad, make fun of you, I was like, oh thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Atlanta, yeah. you have this, you have that. Atlanta, you don't have no. this, do you? Oh, but, that's right, oh no, my you, God. Like, he doesn't understand, in Atlanta, I had a job. I I used to, you know, I used to be me, like I used to hear. The single here. face, like I said, everybody changed. It's not only, <laughs> hey, it but doesn't I, play I only for the man's side. I came to live side. his life. It's difficult, you know, when you don't have your own. And plus, if you're not, I think I have, not too strong, but a little <laughs> strong personality. Just you don't, you don't need to tell. I, I think everyone on TV already saw every show that we did. No, no, no. How tough no, no, you no. are, so no but. worries. Catherine Nevis goes for the fence again. Elio won at Indianapolis in his first two races, and then won again in 2009. Adriana in his pits. Open the door to the three-time winner's club. There's a brand new member, and his name is Elio Castro Nevis. Oh, you guys are awesome. 
Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. It was like one of the most like exciting things I ever gone through because it's like it's like such a huge race and then for him I knew it was like a big 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 thing. Ryan Hunter Ray leads. Elio Castro Evans is second. Only three drivers have won the Indianapolis 500 four times. And Elio almost joined that club last year. Checkered flag is in the air. Here comes Castro Nevis. He won't get there. Florida's Ryan Hunter Ray wins the Indianapolis 500. Yeah. Last year, Hunt, we were watching here. Hunter Ray won the race. And she goes like, oh, Mommy, Hunter Ray won. Daddy didn't win. I was like, yeah. And she goes like, oh, but we can cheer for Hunter Ray sometimes, <laughs> right? I'm like, yeah, I guess so. And as the month of May approaches, they're both ready for another chance at that magical fourth win at Indy. To Elio, obviously, is going to mean the world. For me, it's going to be very, very exciting. But again, it's like, no, 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 I'm going to be so happy to <laughs> There's a lot of good things on, on me and Winnie. I'm like, happy making her happy and everybody's happy. So yeah. it's uh, it's all about yeah. happy uh, it's a in chain this of house, happiness. in Castroneves' yeah. house <laughs> and in Penske's house too. So trust me, it would be a great day. So yeah, no, no, it'll be great. I mean, it's going to be history if he wins four times. That was a lucky charm for him to get the, the <laughs> third one. And I'm going to be there for, for the fourth one too. The only person in the family left to experience a win at Indy is Michaela. And that's the plan this year. And I want my daughter as well to see what my sister, my dad, my mom end up seeing. Uh, that's the kind of excitement. And hopefully, um, as I said before, on the pictures, when 20 years from now, and she, she, she sees the, I was there in the, in the victory lane, and she was there in the victory lane, she is super proud of her dad. The month of May at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway has always been something special. Dating back to the first running of the 500 mile race in 1911 to last year's epic finish, Indianapolis rarely disappoints. But for Elio Castroneves, this May has been a bit tough so far. The month began with a solid sixth place finish on the IMS road course in the Grand Prix of Indianapolis, but was marred by an eight point post event penalty for avoidable contact at turn one on the race's first lap. Despite the sanction, Elio remained third in the Verizon IndyCar Championship points battle, but his problems would soon worsen. On May 13th, the third day of practice for the 99th running of the 500, Elio's car spun exiting turn one, made hard left side impact of the wall, lifted airborne at nearly 200 miles per hour, landed, and came to a rest on all four wheels. Astonishingly, he was unhurt. And as soon as I make turn one, the car just snapped, uh, the rear just overturned. I was expecting this big shunt and it didn't happen. So I'm like, oh, thank God. But as I'm sliding backwards, I'm, I thought that it was over. So suddenly my rear started taking off and I'm like, what's happening? I start looking the sky and when I look the sky, I said, okay, I closed my eyes because that that point there is nothing to look anymore. And when I opened my eyes, everything was I was back into normal and I hear the radio, Roger, are you okay? I'm like, oh, I'm actually am okay. I can't believe it. I'm not even sore. We saw it happen. We, you know, one got out of the car, I got out of the car. We just immediately, you know, I don't want to, you don't want to go out just seeing that happen. So I can't imagine actually being the, being in the car and then having to get in at the end of the day, um, which he did with no problem. Five hours later, with just 15 minutes remaining in the day's final session, Elio emerged from the Penske garage, pushed the drama from his mind, and completed 10 laps at over 226 miles per hour. The fact that the thing flew in the air, to actually get back in um, and try to keep that out of your mind, that at one point during the day that you were as high as a catch fence. Um, and I think he does a good job of just switching that out. You just got to go back reset everything and start all over again with a different approach and and that's exactly what happened this is not my first rodeo we got right back in the car first lap out full throttle 226 miles an hour no problem so yeah, it takes a special mind to do that a special spirit 
It's quite incredible to see his dedication to the sport. And uh, the guy that you see on TV is Elio, you know? It, it's just him. It doesn't, doesn't act. It's just exactly how he is. It's what we do, you know what I mean? I always said, the day you don't feel comfortable getting in the car, get out. It's what it is, you know? I don't know, I'm, I'm okay with it, you know what I mean? It's, it's a reality. Over the following three days, Elio turned 94 flawless practice laps, including one at a session topping 233.474 miles per hour, before qualifying a solid fifth on pole day. Seven days until the race. An eternity for some, but a blink of an eye for an indie veteran in pursuit of racing immortality. Well, there is no pressure, to be honest, and uh, if there is, the pressure being the best out of me, if it meant to be, will be. And uh, at this point, uh, the number three car is looking pretty strong. IndyCar Chronicles with Elio Castroneves is presented by Tag Heuer. It's race day in Indianapolis. And as an estimated quarter of a million fans scurry to pack the grandstands and infield of the enormous Indianapolis Motor Speedway, in the quiet seclusion of his garage, Elio Castroneves prepares himself, both mentally and physically, for his latest attempt to enter history as a four-time 500 winner. Just getting ready, uh, trying to uh, get the blood, the blood floating at this moment, and that's it. Heart rate a little bit up, so. If Got some adrenaline pumping into the, into the brain. During Elio's warm-up, some special visitors arrive. Good morning. Can I go hi? With that, <laughs> Elio is momentarily dad again. Choo, choo, choo. Choo, 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 choo. Minutes later, teammate Will Power appears. He's amused by Elio's warm-up routine. Power will start from the center of the first row, immediately ahead of Elio. But there is some confusion about the start procedure. Hey, listen, I'm trying to wonder, what lap do we meant to go three by three? The first lap? It's I, the first complete lap, right? Three I'll by mean, three? <laughs> well, I'll follow you guys, whatever you guys are doing. <clears throat> yeah, because I'm the second guy, so... <laughs> you're, you're the first one to start. I don't know. I How many? Is, is it third time by? Yeah, fourth time by. Fourth? I think so. No way. I think so. Two and a half miles? I thought that's what I said. You got three by three, <coughs> one warm up lap, then three by three. It must be third, I guess. That's the guy. It's my teammate. With that sorted, the traditional walk to the grid through Gasoline Alley begins. Let's kiss some serious butt. All right. This is awesome. This is what I love it. We don't have this feeling anywhere in the world. Hey, Elio, make him walk. Come on, buddy. Make him walk. In the middle of the second row, three time 500 winner, four time 500 pole center from Brazil, it's Elio Castaneda. Indianapolis for me means a lot. Uh, it's a place that I fall in love. It means the world, it means my career. And I always say it, and I'm always gonna continue saying, it's magic to be in a position to win four races. It's just, wow. All right, my man, we know what to do here. Uh, just a long day, stay up front. We'll do a job for you here in the pits, and uh, we know you know what to do out there. Copy that. Go on green this time. Green, green. The green flag is out, and the 99th running of the Indy 500 is underway. On the start, Elio lost fifth position to Justin Wilson, but gained it back on lap 27. Real good work there, good patience there, real good, clear by 15. A few laps later, Elio's recently crowned Pit Stop Challenge champion crew prepare to go to work. So far, Elio is happy with the car. You want any front wing this time? Or you want any front wing? Well, so far it's pretty good. A quick green flag stop gained Elio one spot up to fourth, which he held into the second round of stops 29 laps later under caution. Yellow, 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 yellow. Turn four, turn four. 
Okay, pits are open. Coming in. Fuel and tires, guys. Back against the wall. Let's get a good slow stop here. One pit box ahead. Will Powers Penske crew got him out in front of Elio, who then lost fifth position to Charlie Kimball after the restart. Go, go. Three, one, three, go, go. All clear. All clear. So Canon, Dixon, Pagano, Power, Castro Nevis. There's Power on Pagano, and behind them, Charlie Kimball on Castro Nevis, the 83 car, the young Californian, rolling toward the front. On the third round of stops, at half distance, it's Juan Pablo Montoya's Penske crew who shot, launching him past Elio from seventh to third. Now in seventh, it's evident that Elio is struggling to get up front. It looks like I don't have this speed on my power trying push as hard as I can, but it just looks like we don't have this speed. Well, we can take a little wing out of the rear if you want to. Yellow, yellow, turn one. Come on in, come on in this time. Up here. Remember, it's going to be quick here, so uh, back against the wall, guys. Don't be quick. Set your tools. Be ready to get out of here. Go, go, go! All clear. More quick work from his crew jumped Elio to fifth in front of Kanan and Kimball. But on the restart, Kanan flew by. And Kimball nearly ended Elio's race. I should have been qualified, man. On lap 128, Elio dispatched of Kimball for sixth and remained there until another difficult restart on lap 159 dropped him to eighth. From there out, it was simply a fight to remain in the top 10. A couple of close moments on the climb from 13th, threatening a finish at all. In the end, Elio had clawed back in seventh place. Oh, we've got a lot of cars, I guess, again. Yeah, 10 forward, we're just gonna work on our restart, to figure out what we need there. Meanwhile, an epic battle up front between his Penske teammates ensured a 16th 500 win for the captain, Roger Penske. Side by side again for the race lead. Power, wow. Here's Montoya with a full run on Will Power for the race lead. Here they come to the checkered flag. And the winner of the Indianapolis 500 is Juan Pablo Montoya. So with that, a still three-time winner welcomes a new two-time winner to the club. As once again, Elio's fourth win remains elusive.